Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. We are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator today and we will be doing leg seven of our Balkans bush trip. Now, if you look here, there's something very weird going on post the patch with the bush trips. Um, as you saw in the last video, if you stuck around to the end, you'll know that when I landed at uh, Dubrovnik Airport, it didn't actually register that we'd completed the journey. So I couldn't actually start leg seven. So post that, a whole raft of exciting things happened. So I went online to investigate what was what was wrong with it. And one of the pieces of advice I saw was that you needed to go back to leg one and restart the trip. And then once you did that one, you could jump back to whatever journey you were, whatever leg you were on, sorry. And um, it would allow you to complete it. So <laughs> over the last couple of days, I reflew leg one. Then I jumped back and reflew leg six and it still didn't register. So what I then had to do was restart the trip again and do some magic with the developer tools, which let me skip, re-skip through all of these legs to legs back to leg six and do leg seven. So earlier today I did leg seven and I didn't record it. I forgot to press the record button, which was hugely intelligent. However, when I finished it, it did accept the landing and said, yeah, well done, you completed leg seven. I've just logged back on now to re-record leg seven and it's telling me that I've completed leg eight. Now, we definitely haven't done leg eight because that's quite a long one. And when I did this one earlier, it only took me 15 minutes. So I genuinely have no idea what's going on with MSF at the moment. MSFS, sorry, <laughs> at the moment. It's a bit bizarre. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to refly seven uh, with you guys now and we'll have to see what happens at the end of this. Um, this one's cool. This one's basically a straight line, so it's really easy to fly at VFR. <laughs> uh, I'll just jump into it and I'll show you. Right, well, here we are in the plane. Um, it's all a bit bizarre. Things aren't looking right at the moment with this game. A cyber need to do some stuff with uh, fixing it. So um, yeah, I mean, look, we're on a jaunty angle on the on the runway here, and I had all sorts of warning lights um, on when I jumped into the plane. So yeah, I'm not. I'm really not sure what's going on. Um, hopefully, this will work. I'm sure you guys, if you play Microsoft Flight Simulator, you're going to be having some similar issues if you started any of these bush trips. Anyway, enough yammering on. Let's have a look at the POIs. So, first one is Gruda. In the air above Dubrovnik, set your sights southeast and find State Road D8, the Adriatic Highway. After a brief stretch, the road will lead you to the small village of Gruda. Continuing in the same direction, you will soon end up in, an, end up in Igalo, a small town on the coast overlooking... Hersegonovsky Zalev, Bay in Montenegro. That was a perfect pronunciation. Uh, Portonovi Marina. Carry on southeast down the rugged, densely populated coast towards a marina in the distance. Then a straight shot southeast from the marina across the waters of Tivatsky, Tivatsky Zalev. Make your way towards the seaside town of Tivat on the other side and in the international airport on the coast. Basically, we're going there. There's no other way of saying it. You know, the headings barely change as we go. 19, 18, 3 and 5. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to fly without even looking at that. So, um, I think it's probably time to get going, isn't it? Off we go. Oh, and excellent, the controls are actually working. I was half expecting them not to. As you'll notice, I've changed my seating position in the aircraft. I think it's actually a little bit higher than I would like. Maybe that I'm used to, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, I wanted to see over the nose a bit better than I had been previously. And then we're going to head up to around about 2,000 feet. Trim up. Ooh. 
a bit buffety there. Maybe a little less angle, get a bit more speed as we climb. Yeah, so I think we're a bit high, because if I look out the window now, I can only really see down. Trim down a touch. See, it's been a fun couple of days having to refly um, re legs that I've already done and for it to make absolutely no difference to um, the actual performance of the game. I'm not sure what they've done with the update, but it, it definitely has introduced a few bugs to the game. If you've seen any bugs since the patch, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. It'd be good to read them. We will suffer together. Of course, if you're down around the comments area, you can always hit the subscribe button. And the like button if you enjoy the video. And if you want to be notified the next time I uh, upload some more excellent flying videos or trucking videos or whatever takes my fancy, hit the bell icon to be notified. Some lovely shameful self-promotion there. Got to be done. I'm enjoying doing this and it's cool to have people along for the ride. Quite literally in my case. So yeah. There we are, coming up to 2,000 feet. Level her off a little bit. Have a quick look on the outside. Here's our lovely plane. I'm guessing the weather they use for um, for uh, these bush trips isn't live weather. Um, because no matter what time of day I fly this, the sun always appears to be in the same place and the weather always appears to be fairly similar, so, um, yeah, I guess it's not live. I think we're drifting off course. We are indeed drifting off course. Oh, and we're climbing quite a bit as well. But I've actually been really enjoying this flying. I'm only around about seven and a half hours total flight time so if we add that to the time that I used to fly in X-Plane 11 that's probably about eight and a half hours so I think I'm doing okay for having relatively no experience in, in an aircraft and of course no formal training um, but I definitely need to do a bit more research into some of the other planes in the game and uh, actually what is going on whilst I'm flying because I don't really understand the the whole um, physics of the thing and what 99% of the buttons do and I couldn't even tell you how to start this thing um, so stuff like that is actually very interesting to me and something I, I should find out um, for, oh, you know, to help improve my flying Very beautiful scenery around here. Definitely a place to visit in real life. One thing I have noticed today, actually, um, well, here we go, here's a gigantic stutter, just to emphasize the point I was about to make, is that the frame rates of the game have been awful compared to what they were before the patch. I mean, I don't know what frames I'm normally running at, but it seems very, very uh, stuttery or laggy no, stuttery is the right word compared to where it was I mean I'm only running a, a DTX 1070 and I'm only running this in uh, 1080p high or high end as the game calls it but I definitely got better performance out of it previously Ooh. oh I need to throttle down my bad 
wondering why I'm going so blinking fast is because I'm, I'm throttled back. So yeah, there's definitely been some uh, conflicting reports on whether the patch actually improved performance for everyone or did it actually knock some people's performance down quite significantly. And I wouldn't say it's a significant hit, but it's definitely noticeably worse than it was before. So, uh, well, the more reason to buy a 3080 maybe, or a 3070, depending on how broke I am after all my renovation work going on in my house. Maybe even a second-hand 2080 Ti. Who knows? A bit of uh, positive, positive, what do you call it? Positive trim to go up? I guess. I don't know. I'm going to call it that. I'm sure there's an avionic, an aviation term for it. But you're going to keep on this heading until we, uh, we join back on to the actual flight path here. So this is the. Uh, I'm guessing the marina town that we need to fly over. It's like a lovely place to visit. Imagine if you actually go to Dubrovnik, you could take a drive probably over here. You could go up that state road uh, that the uh, the navlog mentioned and head down here and have a jolly day out in the marina. Well, my... Uh, my altitude's all over the shop. Stay on this heading for a bit. It's gonna it's gonna very quickly shift to 105 in a second. Here we go. See, told you. I know everything. I could see the future. Yeah, I've just done it before. See, there's a lot. See, all the stutters. Good thing as well as earlier on when I was, um, you know, inverted commas, recording this when I didn't. Uh, I actually had a delivery halfway through, so my dog went absolutely mental, and it probably would have ru ruined all of your ears. Um, anyway, so it's kind of kind of fortunate that I was um, too negligent to push the record button on that one. <laughs> now it's a nice quiet evening. I'm sitting here in the dark, playing the game. Oh, lovely houses. I wonder if any of those are Airbnbs. Those ones up on the hill would be good. With that view out there. Spectacular. All oh, the cars going around. A really busy place. Look, there's a lovely high rise hotel there. It's going to be nice. We are drifting wildly off course. Oh. Wildly off course here. Yeah. My bad for faffing. Now as well, earlier on when I um, flew for this airport, I hugely overshot the landing. Ended up landing on the back end of the runway pretty much. Um... So, we'll try not to do that this time round. Yeah. I'm guessing these are actually walls here. The game likes to put things under the water rather than over the water. Yeah, look, there's houses there. So that's like a... Um, that's a harbour, I guess, what we would call it. Maybe they call it as well. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, 
Right, get back in the plane and concentrate on this landing. Because there is the runway over there, just slightly to our right. Uh, here is the runway. We're already descending. Yeah, so I ended up landing somewhere down here. I came in way too high. So here is my attempt to not come in way too high. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to throttle all the way off. Now, try and lose a bit of speed that way. And a bit of altitude. Get down to about 1500, nice and gently. And we're dropping quite heavily there. Yeah, see, look at those um, structures up ahead. In real life, those would be above the water, but the game loves to throw things like that under the water. Things like boats and um, marina walls and, and the likes. Sure, I mean, it's quite a complicated system they must be using to, to do all of this, so... Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna knock them too hard on it. Look at look at the boats there on the left. As we go past. You see them down there? They're all they all appear. Ah, all of them. Some of them appear under the water, some of them don't. Right. Definitely need to shape some speed up here, so pull up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You need to turn this way as well. Too high, really. Ooh. Dropping a bit fast. Put some flaps in. Yeah, see, we've come in high again. But hey, it's time to adjust. This is a long old runway. Not like we're gonna go off the end. And excellent. Oh, man, maybe we're back. Let's get this down and see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. What a gentle landing. Very gentle for me. Is the internet connection back? Or am I going to cry because it's going to say... Hey, hey! That was good timing to reconnect. Oh my goodness. I was so scared that it wasn't actually going to uh, acknowledge that, uh, that I had done it then. And that took me a whole minute longer than the previous time I did it. I think the last time I realised much later on that I hadn't throttled back after the uh, after takeoff. Um, but there we go. So that's leg seven of the bush trip done uh, officially and recorded. So if it's recorded now, it's evidenced uh, for all of time. Nice and quick, that one, so a shorter video from me. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Come on, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you've been enjoying the series, if you've caught the series, then please consider subscribing because I'm going to keep on going to the end of this one and then we're going to start the other two. Uh, I'm quite scared about doing one of them because the plane uh, on the Nevada, what, I think it's Nevada or Rockies or wherever the hell it is, um, is like an old crop dusting plane or something and it doesn't have avionics. It doesn't have like the grass, uh, the glass canopy thing. So uh, yeah, it's really going to be an actual VFR flight, that one, uh, which terrifies me. Um, but we'll get to that one. We will get. We've got to finish this one first. Um, but yes, subscribe, like, hit the bell icon. 
do all those good things but most importantly take care stay safe have a great rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one bye bye